Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today I'm going to show you guys what to do if you get the following error. This is an error that you might get uh, normally in your desktop environment, or you might get it in a server environment where you're using folder redirection like I am. Not enough, quote, uh, not enough quota is available to process this command. Now, I looked online and couldn't find really anything helpful um, until I remembered one thing, and I'll show you in a minute. So, this is what they recommend. Not enough quota is available to process this command, right? So, they say, close some applications and try again. If you still get this message, choose system from control panel. And what I was doing is I was copying um, some files across to one of my shares. So this was a really weird error to get because I'm going, is it the memory they're saying on my server? So I went over here on my server and I clicked here and I went start task manager. And I looked at the performance and I saw that I still had like, you know, I have eight gigs total in this server. It's only using not even three and a half or not even four rather. So couldn't be that. Well, could it be my task manager here? Let's have a look. No, using three gigs out of the eight, not even. What could it be? And and this is not the answer. Close some applications. I knew that's not the answer because, and the other thing they said is I could increase my page file. I'm like, there's no way I'm using any page file because I haven't, you know, I haven't used all my RAM up yet. So page file hasn't even got dipped into yet. So that's total BS. So poor Microsoft instructions here. Here's what you do. You go into your sync center. Inside your sync center, what you do is you go into here, manage offline files. You go into disk usage and you go to change limits. Now you can see I've set it to 136, as the prior was only set to about 72 gigs. Um, so all you have to do is increase this. Now make sure that you don't increase it too much past the capacity of your drive space. Right? But this is going to be dynamically allocated, so there's no real worry about anything there. And you'd click OK, you'd click OK again, and then you'd be able to move the file. So that is what you do if you ever see this error right here that says, not enough quota is available to process this command. What a verbose, crappy Microsoft error. But anyway, I digress. That is how you solve that error. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more and let me know what you think. Later.